Okay, and we change this then to the color of his eyes, something maybe dark blue. Okay, something like that. I'm just going to press A to deselect. I'm just going to zoom in here and press C. And I'm going to select all of these here. Come over here, do the same thing, press C. Select all of this. Select the pupil, change the pupil to black or dark. Make sure you're on pupil and hit assign. All right. Next, what I want to do is just press A to deselect. I'm going to press and hold Alt, press and hold Shift and Alt, and select. Oh. Sometimes it can be tricky to select all of this. So, okay, what I might do is just assign that when I have it. Select the material, hit assign. Okay, and I'll come back over here, press A, press and hold Shift and Alt, and select these two rims, and select assign. Okay, press A. Okay, that's the basic material on him. What I want to do is come to the render settings, and this is important, you need to switch on freestyle, and I'm just going to open this up and I'm going to change the line thickness to 0.5 now this is just something I have found that looks well it's it can be a personal thing okay and if I just I'm just going to tab back to object mode if I add a camera very quickly I'm going to come into the front view just press 1 and 5 just press shift A and shift a and select camera and control alt zero just to snap into the front view i'm going to press n and lock camera to view and just pan this guy over and zoom in a little bit okay maybe something like that just uncheck this and zoom in there press n Okay, I think that's everything if I just hit the render button okay now you can see the material has a nice toony effect and has the kind of hand-drawn line effect on the edges and it looks pretty effective okay and you can mess around with all those settings if you want to get a different look mess around with the light and the material settings all right okay and that's going to do it for this lecture so thanks for watching goodbye